Happy Valentine's Day everyone. This is Carolina Ramirez, along with Kiara J. Wolf, Alan Roden, Gabrielle Durham, and Dave Madsen, the administrators for Tesla High School with our one and only weekly Border Collie What to Know for today. Before we begin, since it is Valentine's Day, we decided to get together today and read each paragraph individually. Anyways, let's get started. This is a reminder that interim reports will be distributed tomorrow and Monday, February 20th, is a teacher's work day. Shout out to quite a few Border Collie groups this week. A collaborative jazz clinic took place last week featuring several band students around the county. The clinic was successful and ended with a joint concert. Our wrestling and indoor track team had their conference slash state competitions this weekend. In track, Ashton Marion took third in the long jump. In wrestling, Karsten Ram 10 made it through the finals and will move to the state competition. Another shout out is given to both varsity basketball teams as they move into the first round of the conference playoffs beginning Tuesday. Our varsity girls team will travel to Santa Angela High School to play at 6 o'clock with the potential of playing again tomorrow. Our varsity boys won the conference title and will play tomorrow at Lindsay Martinet High School in Ellie's Corner. This is the last week to get your tickets for the Hearts of Glow semi-formal sponsored by the Athletic Boosters. The date is February the 18th and tickets are $15. Food and beverages are free, but pictures and Hearts of Glow merchandise will be available for purchase. There will also be two raffle opportunities to win a $50 prize at the dance. There are only 375 tickets available for purchase. Tickets are pre-sale only and can be purchased in the front office during home and lunch, BC hour, and after school until 4.45. If you don't want to go tomorrow, that day is could be perfect instead. But most important, all school fees must be paid prior to purchasing a ticket and students that have received OSS or ISS as of almost one month ago will not be eligible to attend. Seniors and parents of our seniors. We are entering an active time frame in our school year for the submission of scholarship applications by our seniors. At present, Tesla has a total of 16 scholarships currently active, with many application deadlines approaching in the next few weeks. I encourage parents and seniors to check the scholarships on the Tesla High School Scholarship page. Additionally, senior homeroom teachers receive the scholarships when announced in English and Spanish, sometimes French or Japanese, and the scholarship coordinator, Mrs. Akabana posts all current scholarships on the scholarship bulletin board, and maintains a copy of all released scholarships. Students and parents, we are, we are, we are warning you, please be aware that any report of the possibility of threat will be investigated to its best in order to confirm or deny validity. Any connection to issuance of the threat comment, valid or not, shall result in disciplinary actions. These actions can result in but not limited to OSS, report to law enforcement, referral to the Chaseville Santa Angela Public School System or district assign long-term disciplinary action. In addition, any student that is identified as recording videos, and or pass on or post staff and student actions without consent and that impact the confidentiality of other students will receive a disciplinary action. This includes anything not first shared with the administration as an intervention. That's all we have for today. We'll see you next week. Bye.